Okay, welcome back to shooting. We're gonna get into shot composition now. Um, I want you guys to think of and look up the rule of thirds in photography. The rule of thirds is you divide your screen up into thirds. So if you drew two lines down and two across, the interest points are at those areas. So like this camera right now is at an area um, placed like a lower third. And I would be at the other one. So they're interest points that you're seeing, okay? Um, again, when you're watching your favorite movie, your favorite TV show, look how they're composing shots and where the important things are. Okay, I want you guys to notice when you watch things, you're going to see things at points in those lower thirds. Okay, you're also going to see depth, you know, look for foreground, um, look for backgrounds and where you see levels of things. Um, a really beautiful shot is you have something in the foreground and then you have the subject and you have maybe the soft background or maybe where everything's totally in focus. Okay, um, another thing you got to remember when you first start to shoot, you need wide shots. You need medium shots, you need close-up shots. Okay, wide shots are establishing shots. So if I was doing this classroom, I would get a wide shot of everybody in the classroom and it would say, hey, they're in a classroom, they must be getting lectured to. And then I might do a medium shot and the medium shot would be maybe of two students. And that would tell us, hey, the story must be about those two students we established on the wide that they're in a class, we, they must be students, but these are the two it must be about, okay? And then your tight shots, your close-up close shots would be, um, you know, emotion shots. So if I got a tight shot of one of those two students and they were happy, they were sad, they were nervous, you, that just tells you, you know, it gives emotion, it shows detail, okay? A good project should have wide shots, it should have medium shots, it should have tight shots and close-ups, okay? And when you're editing, when you edit from a wide shot to a medium shot to a close-up shot, it looks great. Think how boring the world would be if it was medium shot, medium shot, medium shot, medium shot. It's not that exciting. And again, watch your favorite TV shows and movies and watch the shots they use and how they set them up, okay? Composition is important, wide, medium shot, wide, medium, and tight shots are important. Okay, to go back to the last lecture a little bit, one thing I didn't mention is movement takes time. So if I was going to do a zoom in or a dolly with the same situation from a wide to a tight of the students to tell that story, think of the time it takes to zoom in or to dolly in from the wide shot to the two shot to the single shot. It takes time. When you're editing, if you just get a wide static shot, then you got the medium static shot, and then the tight static shot, you can edit. It takes a 24th of a second or a 30th of a second, depending on what frame rate you're shooting at, to get there. So you got the wide shot, and within a 30th of a second, if we're shooting 30 frames a second, you're there right to the two shot. And let's say the person laughs, boom, a 30th of a second to the tight shot. So it's more efficient to, you know, use cuts and a variety of shots and it makes more interesting. And when movie, when you're watching movies, I'll send you some links, there are shots that last forever and it is that moving. And then the more modern, it's a lot of shots edited together, okay? There's a movie called The Russian Ark that will send, I'll send the trailer when we get to Art Experimental. It's a feature length movie with one shot. You know, so it's all blocked out and everything has to happen within one shot. Uh, the movie Birdman, I, I don't know the exact amount, it's, it's only seven to nine shots. Um, so there, it's a lot of long shots to tell the story, okay? So um, keep that in mind, I want you guys to think about composition of the shot. If you had photography class, you're gonna cover that rule of thirds. I'm gonna find some video links for rule of thirds also. Uh, think of depth, think of line, 
things you learn in art classes. Um, and I, again, I want close-ups, I want tight shots, I want medium shots, and I want wide shots. And again, these shots help tell the story, okay? Um, here's the other thing. The camera doesn't always have to sit at this level. Don't be afraid to shoot down or shoot from the floor. If you've ever watched a Breaking Bad episode, there's always beautiful shots from straight above. And, you know, you'll see tight shots. Again, watch your favorite TV shows, watch your favorite um, movies, and watch how they're using the camera. Uh, and again, you got to change shots to tell a story. If I have a dialogue piece, um, I'm going to have a couple, I'm going to start with a wide two shot. Then I might have an over the shoulder shot. So there's three shots. Then I'm gonna have close up shots. So there's five shots for a dialogue piece. And that doesn't include uh, cutaways. Let's say my person's kind of nervous and they twiddle their thumbs. So that would be a six shot where that I always cut away to also. Uh, so again, the shots tell stories. Wide establishes, tight shows emotion, okay? And again, change shots to tell your story. You don't want it to be boring. Um, so that kind of covers composition, rule of thirds, put things on those thirds, and I'll have some examples like that. And again, if you go out and shoot, and you shoot everything three ways. So let's say I'm shooting like a stop sign. You know, I might have a wide shot of the stop sign, and then I'm gonna have a medium shot, and then I'm gonna have a tight shot, you know? So again, I, in your projects, I want to see that variety to help tell the story. And again, when I shoot, I think how things are going to edit together, okay? Um, so again, I really want you to pay attention to composition, and I want you to shoot wide shots, medium shots, tight shots. Use movement where you need it, okay? So um, We'll, that's where we're going to end, and we'll have some ex you, uh, assignments where you do this. And the other thing is um, continuity between shots. So if I have, if I have, I'm going to pick up this phone on the table right here. It could be a wide shot, and then it could be a tight shot of my phone as you hear it ring, and then my hand grabs it, then it could be a medium shot, of me bringing it up and say, hey, hello, how, what's, how is it going? So we can do that as one shot, or we can do that as a series of three shots. And your first assignment is your continuity assignment, and that will be the continuity, is to tell a story with a step-by-step -step process of somebody getting from point A to point B, or baking cookies, things like that. So I'll do a little video for the first assignment here in a little bit. So that's kind of our shooting assignment. So I will have cameras available uh, later this week, early next week, if people need to check things out. You're also able to use your DSLRs or your phones on these assignments. If you use your phones, I want them to be as smooth as possible so it looks like you have tripods, things like that. Okay, thank you.